in alhamdulillah wa salat wa salam ala wa rasulullah we're continuing with our topic of the signs of the last hour and again i want you guys to see that there's no contradiction with any of the hadiths the problem is people don't understand the meaning of the hadiths and they also fail to understand the sequence of the hadith. And by the way, guys, before I begin to, um, let me ask this question. For those of you who listened to yesterday's lecture, was there any uh, background, uh, type on the screen for me so I'll know. Was there any background uh, static or whatever in the background? Because I didn't listen to yesterday's uh, recording, the video. Not the, not the SoundCloud one, okay, the video one. It was okay? Because I don't know if I, this computer is set up. Okay, well, I guess it's okay. All right, well, let's hope. All right. Okay, this is uh, for the video one. Okay, so let's hope it comes out okay, because I don't know if I got the microphone cut off on the laptop or not. But anyway, uh, there is no contradiction in the Hadith. The problem is that people don't know the order of the hadiths or the meaning of the hadiths so that's why they're like oh i'm confused it's contradiction no there's no contradiction for example we talked about on the quiz with the beast okay the beast is something good he's not something bad allah sends him as a means of exposing uh, uh, of, of exposing whether a person truly believes in allah a law or not he's going to travel around the world and meet with people individually he's a dyer He's a caller to the truth. He's going to meet with people individually and ask them about their belief. Everyone's claiming to be a Muslim at that time because the Islam will be the religion of the world then. Everyone will be claiming to be Muslim, but the reality is they're not practicing Islam correctly. And he's going to meet with people and expose them, expose th their corruption to them. Some people will listen to him and may mend their ways, but others, most will not. When he writes on your forehead that you're an unbeliever, some people may, may take that and say, oh wow, let me change the condition of myself and become a true believer. And it will go away, it will leave their forehead, okay? But most people are not gonna listen to him as a dia, just like they don't listen to me as a dia or other people who speak the truth. They're gonna think he's crazy, they're gonna think that he accused him of trying to look inside their heart and, and all that other nonsense or trying to judge me only God can judge me and no God sent him to judge you okay but that's just how it is okay so there's no contradiction in the hadiths it's just that we fail to understand or grasp the true meaning of them and so now what I want to speak about today is another one of the signs of the last hour that will happen after that beast which is the rising of the sun from the west and the smoke now, Allah speaks about these things in the Quran. Listen to what Allah says and the interpretation and meaning. Do they wait for anything other than the angels to come to them? Or that your Lord should come to you? Or that some of the signs of Allah should come to you? The day that some of the signs of Allah do come, no good will it benefit you to believe then if you didn't believe before or earn good by performing good deeds then wait you because we too are waiting here Allah is speaking about something that Pharaoh did and also people do today people tell you over and over again that your belief system is not correct people warn you over and over again that you need to start obeying the law start practicing Islam stop being a bad Muslim but you don't want to listen you keep putting it off and then finally when you see the end coming oh wait a minute now I want to repent now I want to practice. It's too late then. Allah is not going to accept your repentance then. Just like he did not accept the repentance of Pharaoh. When Pharaoh saw the Red Sea about to, the waves of the sea about to, to, to come down upon him, that's when he looked up and said, Moses, your God is my God. It's too late. Allah didn't accept it. And that's what he's talking about. And in this case, the prophet explained that Allah is speaking about the rising of the sun from the west. If you live to see the sun rise from the west instead of the east, you're doomed. It's too late. 
It's too late to say you believe in the law then. Because the only reason you're saying it is because you know that this is it. Just like Pharaoh, he knew that that was it. The prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the hour will not come until the sun rises from the west and when the people see it rise, whoever is living on earth will believe in Allah. But that will be the time when no good will it do for them to believe in Allah. So again, you know, Brother Muhammad asked a good question. He said, when the beast comes and marks you as an unbeliever, can you still change your faith? Yes. As long as you do it before the angel of death pulls your soul from your throat. And this, or as long as you do it before the sun rises from the west. That's why I told you guys skip over Laylee's answer because Laylee's answer applies here, not there. Okay. If you live to see the sun rise from the west, it's too late, guys. Allah is not going to accept your repentance. He's not going to accept your conversion because you're just doing it because you know that this is it. Okay? Also, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, there are three things which if they occur, it won't do you no good to say you believe in Allah then. And those things are the rising of the sun from the west or the Antichrist. That's another thing. When the Antichrist comes, it's too late to say, now I believe. You just said it because you know you're doomed. Or also the beast. Here the beast is. He comes to visit you. Oh, I believe in Allah. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You're saying you believe in Allah because you're afraid of me, the beast. I'm going to crack you on your nose and put Kafir on your head. Okay? This happens a lot. Or just like even today, say you're driving in a car. You, your car begins to slide. You see the car sliding into a, 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 a pole. So you say, oh Allah, forgive me. I believe in you now. Bam, it's too late. You only said it because you knew you was about to die. So Allah may not accept that from you. Allah only accepts if a person is sincere. If you see death coming at you, I'll say you'll say anything. Everybody understand that? So this is one of the signs of the last hour, one of the final signs. If you live to see the sun rise in the west, it's too late. Because that's it. Party's over. That is one of the final signs of the last hour. That's it. If that sun rises from the west, believe you me, it ain't setting. If the sun was not going to set no more, it's over. And Allah is not going to accept your repentance in. In fact, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us where the sun goes every night. When that sun sets, arises from the west, it's not going to set anywhere. He said, whenever the sun rises, it travels until it prostrates itself beneath the throne of Allah. And it will ask Allah's permission to rise again. But the day will come. When it will rise, and then it will be told to go back to where you came. And that's the time when it will be no good for you. So if you live to see the sun rise from the west, guys, it's not going to set in the east. It's not going to set that day. That's it. Party is over. It's a done deal. So it's too late. And a lot of people ask, which comes first, the beast or the rising of the sun? Well, the companions were talking about this. And Ab Ab Abdullah, who was a, a well-read companion, said, he said, I think that the first to happen will be the rising of the sun from the west. Every time it sets, it goes beneath the throne of Allah and prostrates and asks permission to rise again. The time will come when it will ask three times and it will not get a reply. And then Abdullah gave, quoted that verse. So that's his opinion. This is one of the companions, Abdullah. He believes that the sun rising from the west will happen first. But there's others who believe the beast comes first. 
There's others who believe that the beast will come first. And after he either marks you as a Kafir or a, 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 a believer, then it will happen. So only Allah knows. Okay, but the bottom line is, those are the last of the signs of the last hour. The beast, the rising of the sun from the west, those are two of the final signs of the last hour. And also another one of the final signs is the smoke. The smoke that rises. Many people believe that the smoke will rise after the sun rises from the west. Many other scholars think that, 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 that when the sun rises from the west, that's when the smoke will appear. And they uh, base that on what Allah is saying here in the Quran, when Allah says in the interpretation of meaning, wait for the day when the sky will bring forth a visible smoke covering the people with a painful punishment. The people will say, oh Allah, remove this punishment from us and we will now believe in you. How can there be for them any admonition when the punishment has already reached them? So a lot of people believe based on this verse of the Quran that when the sun <clears throat> does rise from the west, the smoke will appear <clears throat> and it will be very painful. Okay? And then after that, the people will be gathered together. The angels will come down to the earth and gather the people together for their reckoning, their judgment. So the smoke comes before the judging. Okay? And again, many believe that it comes right after the rising <clears throat> of the sun from the west. And that's why a lot of people believe that the beast comes first. That the beast comes first, then the rising <clears throat> of the sun from the west followed by the smoke okay the bottom line is guys you know even if we don't live to see these things which i hope we don't the last hour will come to each and every one of us when that angel of death pours our soul from our throat so the whole purpose of me even teaching this series was for you to take a good hard look at yourself Look at your belief system. Reflect upon what you claim to believe in. Are you living your life obeying Allah's commands? Are you living your life fulfilling your obligations to him and to yourselves and each other? Or are you living your life enjoying the good things in this world without being held, without holding yourself accountable for your choices without holding yourself accountable for your actions because death will will definitely find each and every one of us and when that death does find you you want to go willingly you want to go in good standing with your lord you don't want to go in bad standing okay all right so we'll stop right here for today tomorrow we're going to wrap this topic up uh, we're going to uh, speak it, uh, and, and try to summarize and wrap this topic up. And then I'll probably give you guys a little final exam. So we'll stop right here. If you guys have any questions or comments, inshallah, you can go ahead and type them on the screen.